Welding is used to fuse metal components. During the welding process, the components to be fused are melted at their point of contact with the help of filler material. The pool of molten material that forms then cools to become a strong joint. During this process, ultraviolet light, infrared radiation, and noise is emitted into the environment. Hot particles, flying sparks, and metal spatter are released from the weld. Some metal and any coating on this metal is vaporized and condenses in the air as fume. What personal protective equipment should be worn while welding? Skin surfaces are protected from hot particles and thermal radiation with leather garments, gloves, a leather jacket, and sometimes chaps. The pants or coveralls worn under the leather should not have cuffs which can catch hot particles and burn. The eyes are protected with safety glasses and the face is protected from hot particles with the welder's helmet. To protect against the ultraviolet radiation, which can damage the eye, the welder must view their work through a lens. The lens must have the appropriate shade number, which will vary based on the type of welding being performed and in some cases by the size of the electrode and arc current. Hearing protection is worn in high noise areas to protect against hearing loss. Finally, inhaling some metal fumes can lead to metal fume fever and other illnesses. When welding on steel in open spaces like this, no special precautions are usually necessary. However, you must be aware of the metals coated on or present in the alloy and rods welded. If toxic metals are present in the alloy welded, such as chromium or cobalt, Use local exhaust ventilation to remove the fume or wear a respirator with HEPA cartridges designed to fit under the helmet. If the surface to be welded is coated with lead, zinc, cadmium, or some other toxic metal, remove the coating with a grinder before welding. <laughs>